Hi friends of Cocktails! Today we're making an ingredient that was requested by one of you a few months ago. Yogurt liqueur, but I can't find the message anywhere, so if it was you, comment below. In my research, I came across the only yogurt liqueur I could get my hands on. Balls. It says natural yogurt on the bottle, and it clocks in at 15% ABV, so that was the benchmark for this. My homemade fresh yogurt liqueur. I didn't build the cows myself, but I went directly to somebody who did. And so you'll have more recipes to use this up. You're getting two cocktail recipes today. First I'll make the Love Me Flip from Eric Lorenz, the 2010 World Class Bartender of the Year, using rum, yogurt liqueur, sherry, bitters, sugar and egg yolk. Then you'll be able to check out a recipe by my friend from another YouTube channel, David from Booze on the Rocks. Thanks Kevin, hi friends with cocktails. I've got something delicious in the works with this yogurt liqueur. So come check us out after Kevin's episode, but first, it's cocktail time. But first, a helpful word from today's sponsor, Shaker and Spoon. If you ever watched a YouTube cocktail channel and thought, I'd love to make and taste craft cocktails, but I don't want to bother with the ingredients. You're in luck. Today's sponsor does that for you. They'll send you a box each month with everything you need to make craft cocktails, except the booze. Three different recipes by world-class bartenders, with detailed instructions and enough ingredients to make 12 cocktails altogether. They make it fun, but easy. So Ruby volunteered to make two Capri Crush cocktails. From the Negroni box we got. Depending on the box, you'll get syrups, bitters, stuff for infusions, garnishes, mixers, even citrus. All you need is basic cocktail equipment, ice and spirits, which they'll let you know in advance what to get, with an email. You can skip a month or cancel anytime, but you won't, and your friends will thank you for it. So start exploring new flavors at shakerandspoon.com and use my code KEVIN or use the link below to get $20 off your first subscription. Now, back to the episode. So let's start with the yogurt liqueur, trying the store-bought option. I thought this was an interesting ingredient for cocktails. I like the flavor, but I think the yogurt flavor could be stronger. Which is what I think I created here. This viscous milky white homemade yogurt liqueur has a perfect balance of yogurt acidity, sweet vanilla notes, a hint of lemon and a subtle boozy undertone. It's creamier and more upfront with the yogurt, which I love, but that's also the reason it won't have such a long shelf life. So please share your ideas for cocktails using yogurt liqueur down in the comments. To make it, I first needed some fresh homemade yogurt. Ready for some scenic shots? Let's go. I got in touch with a dairy farm, not far from my childhood home. The Polizier family operate a mountainous farm with free range cows, providing the highest quality of dairy products, which was just what I was looking for when making the yogurt liqueur. To make it stand apart from the store-bought version, I decided on their full fat yogurt to give it the fresh, full-bodied flavor with a strong yogurt backbone. Now, back to the studio. We now have our homemade full fat yogurt, but we'll also add cream for creaminess. Mixing dairy ingredients directly with a spirit could give you curdles, so I'll first make a base for our liqueur. For that, you'll need vodka, sugar, vanilla, and lemon peel. I'm using absolute vodka from Sweden at 40% ABV. 250 ml or 8.5 ounces will be enough, and these ratios will give us just over 700 ml or 24 ounces of yogurt liqueur. To get the right sweetness, I'm adding 150 grams of refined granulated sugar for a nice vanilla flavor at 0.25 gram of a vanilla bean. Since I'll blend it all, I'm not scooping out the seeds. And for a zesty freshness, 0.4 gram of lemon peel. If you need a precision scale, I have a link for the gear I'm using in the description. Blend everything on high speed for about 40 seconds, so the sugar dissolves and everything gets blended and mixed. Then strain this liqueur base through a cloth filter and move on to part two, yogurt and cream. Mix together 360 grams of a full fat yogurt with 30 grams of cream. Whisk together well to get a uniform mixture. Then slowly start adding the liqueur base while whisking constantly. Once you're done and you see you have a homogeneous mixture without any clumps, that's your cocktail time yogurt liqueur done. Simple, right? You'll want to keep this in the fridge after you transfer it into a sterilized bottle, label it and add the date too. I'd suggest using this up within 15 days to be safe. But it's best when fresh. So let's make a cocktail with it right now. I'm making the Love Me Flip by Eric Lorenz, created in 2010. For that you'll also need H rum, Pedro Jimenez sherry, Augustura bitters, rich demerara sugar, an egg yolk and grated tonka bean for the garnish. I'll first separate the egg, saving the yolk this time, 
using the egg white in a traditional sour cocktail shouldn't be a problem, right? Add seven and a half ml or quarter of an ounce of rich syrup. Then beat the egg yolk. Once that's done, I'll start chilling the shaker. Then add all other ingredients, starting with 60 ml or two ounces of H rum. I saw Eric use a cup of 23, but I think Havana Club seven year is a great budget friendly option. Next, 30 ml or one ounce of our homemade yogurt liqueur. Because of its viscosity, it's good to have another ingredient to wash out the jigger. So follow that with 15 ml or half an ounce of Pedro Jimenez, a rich sweet style of sherry wine. Lastly, as per recipe, three drops of Agostura bitters. This cocktail was created at a Connaught Hotel in London by Eric Lorenz, the world renewed bartender from Slovakia, went on to become the 10th head bartender at the America Bar in Little London Hotel, called the Savoy. Under his leadership, it got crowned as the world's best bar in 2017. He has since moved on to co-create a new bar in London called Quent, which is currently operating as a summer pop-up in Ibiza, called the Quent by the Sea. If you're lucky enough to be there right now, go check it out. Or try making this cocktail at home, not the same but close enough. Subtle aroma of nutty spices and funk from the tonka, bitters and rum leads to a delightfully creamy cocktail, thanks to the yogurt liqueur and the egg yolk. It's sweet and funky, balanced by the yogurt acidity and hints of sweet dried fruits on the aftertaste. A wonderful after-dinner cocktail that's probably better suited for the winter. Australia, you're welcome. But I promised you more than just a single cocktail recipe. Let's see what David from Boost in the Rocks has for you. I made this blue lassie with a little bit of vodka, this fantastic homemade liqueur, and a few other ingredients. So come on over to Booze on the Rocks and I'll show you exactly how to do it. I'll see you there. Cheers. Cheers, David. Thanks for helping us out with another recipe. I look forward to trying it out. Next week, we'll be diving into the history of another classic pre prohibition cocktail and making three versions of it. Hit subscribe so you don't miss it when it drops. I'll see you then.